boop a doop a doop. Hello, acolytes. This is John. Not not doing Inquisitor Sturm this time. Just John. This is a update vlog. Kind of wanted to talk to you guys about what I had planned, what I'm doing, and uh, give you an idea of why things suddenly slowed down. We started with a bang, getting a full uh, battle report and everything, and uh, well, hasn't been a whole lot of videos recently. So uh, I'm gonna start with the stuff that I've got planned. I want to show you what all we've got. So uh, follow me. Do to do. All right. Welcome to the living room. Uh, Hi, Witch Hazel! And One-Eyed Willy the Wombat. Uh, this is our, our gaming room, studio, editing room, painting room. This is it. This is where everything happens. Got my, my box of gear over here. That's all the sound equipment and, and lighting and everything like that. Hiding in that black box that you can barely see. Editing computer. Woo! Uh, all my gaming stuff over here. So we're going to look at some of this. So, uh... Over here, we've got my X-Wing things. Hooray, X-Wing. Aww, yeah. Got all those shiny ships and cards, things, tokens. And uh, this box actually hides all the epic stuff. Yeah. Got the painted Raider, good old Carillion Corvette, and the Gonzai Cruiser and my Decimator hiding over there in the corner. And, uh, this box is actually hiding a Lambda Shuttle and a bunch of epic stuff. Hooray, Lambda Shuttle. But yeah, so there's there's a bunch of our X-Wing things. Got, uh, actually got Armada and it's upside down, but hey. Star Wars Armada, all their tokens. Mostly I've got Phase 1 and 2 and, uh, a little bit after phase one and two, obviously, with that thing there. Got all our ships in here, and I kind of want to take a moment to brag on my little brother, because he's actually learning this game so that he can be my primary opponent when we, uh, we do the battle reports here. And his very first game, turn three, he got that thing behind my Imperial Star Destroyer, broadsiding it by turn three, halfway through. Yeah, yeah, no, he's gonna be good. Uh, I'm excited. Got some gaming books. Hey, look, gaming books. Inquisition! Ha ha ha! Handful of other ships and things. Gaming papers. All our paints. This is our painting table where we paint things. Ray. And a shot glass, don't mind that. <laughs> yep, my, my personal chair. It's my comfy chair and my computer. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I kind of wanted to show you all that, and, uh, and, uh, I want to show you something else, because you might have, you might have noticed that I go by Inquisitor Sturm, and, uh, a handful of 40k references, and I mean, you saw my 40k gaming books down there, but we've been playing Star Wars, just Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. Well, here's the gaming table, and... Got an army in construction. I was building this mostly for uh, 7th edition, but 8th edition has come out and got a handful of things left to do. There we go, so you can see. Hop -da, got my librarian. Let's get him in focus. Yeah, librarian. He does have the little angel thing, but it pops off so easy that I set him down and it came off. But yeah. He's, uh, he's one of my HQ options. I'm building Pedro Contour, because this is a Crimson Fist army. Good old Crimson Fists. Yep. And there's my Stern Guard, hanging out with their drop pod, who sadly will not be in future games, because Stern Guard got nerfed, and uh, drop pods are really, really expensive in 8th edition. It's kind of not worth it to bring standard kit. Like, if you really want to do the whirlwind launchers with them, maybe, but... Got my tactical marines hanging out with their flamer, because flamethrowers are awesome. Some centurion devastators back there. Yep, those guys are WYSIWYG. They're bringing their hurricane bolters and twin las cannons. Aw, oh, yeah. Some assault marines. Yeah. Two-handed chainsword. Oh, Games Workshop. Assault terminators. 
Hanging out here in the back. Turn around, buddy. Face the camera. Yeah. Got their shields and hammers. Got the old uh, Storm Raven and Storm Talon to come in from the air and carry these guys onto the field where I want them. Uh, almost WYSIWYG. Points wise, I'm going to have to take away those uh, LAS cannons up top. Get the old uh, assault cannons instead. But otherwise, keeping the rest of it. Ah, uh, yeah. But, uh, so, this is most of my army. Just got to get a couple more tactical marines to make that battalion detachment. And, uh, I think I'm going to grab the new Primaris Dreadnought, because it's silly. Oh, Games Workshop and your overpowered nonsense. Um, it's just too good. I can't not. And, uh, some Cataphracty Terminators. I want some, some standard Terminators to rock with, uh, Pedro Contour. And then this army will be complete, 2,000 points. Ready to rock. So, yeah, that's the plan with these guys. So we are going to bring 40k in. Eventually. Someday. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, yeah, looking forward to uh, getting Star Wars Legions in, which will uh, give some ground combat with Star Wars, and that looks like a load of fun. And so, yeah, kind of getting to see a lot of the stuff. Uh, so that brings me to the, the slow, slow videos. Uh, my editor is uh, old Astromech Stout. He's, he's uh, starting his senior year of college and also his capstone. So he's busy. So I'm learning to edit my own videos and uh, that's taking me some time because I gotta learn how to use Adobe Premiere and eventually Photoshop and I don't have those skills to begin with so I'm just the idea guy. but So I'm working on that, but videos are going to be slow until I get good at that. Hopefully soon I'll be good at that. And... Oh yeah, and before too long, we're going to have our next X-Wing battle report. It involves Han Solo. Yeah. And my wife. Yep, she's going to come beat me up. It'll be fun. And oh, if you didn't notice, there's actually a second board underneath. We can do epic games and armada with these boards. I'm so proud of these. These look cool. Um, yeah. So that's it for this blog. So uh, see you next time, Acolytes.